Nice in the direction of Reese Gaber, pass a little behind the junior. Here comes Gillette now with the man with them. Gillette's shot saved by Helston. For the then freshman from St. Cloud. Ports now finding Costantini. His shot saved by Hogg and held on to in the end. Pass. Bouncing puck back to Frisch. Quickly to Clevin. Tyler Clevin, the toe drag. His shot is saved in the end. A different story. Hayne now. Jammer to confront on top of the cage. Still loose. Hayne there in the back of the net. Back to back games with a strike for Gavin Hayne. One nothing, North Dakota. Well, usually it's this line that builds the momentum, but they're the recipients of the momentum that North Dakota was able to build. You see Jamernick going in front of the net here as they're trying to center it to it. The puck actually goes up on top of the net, and then it pops it down, and Gaber does, or, uh, Gavin Heen does just a good job of finding that puck when it falls off there. It gets poked off. You're going to see him come in right here, and he's able to just elevate a backhand. On. Nice face-off win. Johnson. Frisch one time, Ethan Frisch on the power play. The senior defenseman with the Rockets and it's 2-0 North Dakota. Well, it's a great job. It's a set play that they look for. They get it up top, you get a, a little bit more separation and space and all that Ethan Frisch has to do is try and get that puck on frame and through. It's a really hard save for a goaltender. Watch this. A good head fake there by Johnson just to give that split second delay. Opens up Ethan Frisch a little. Thorn trying to send the puck across. It could result here in an odd man rush. Caulfields with Gaber driving with him. Judd Caulfield, strong take to the net. Could not get nice. And the Crusaders 0 for 2 so far this evening. 0 for 6 on the weekend, but a chance to rectify that here. Helston, though, a big step by Farmer. Phillips sees that shot go wide. Now a 2 on 1 the other way. McLaughlin, the sauce to Blake. Save! Block the side. McLaughlin to Johnson. It comes to Frisch. Can he do it again? Gavin Hay can! Power play goal! The second of the night for the fifth year senior. And it's 3 0 North Dakota. This is a case of just uh, wearing them down. Just a good job right there by Frisch, just going right to the front of the net there and able to find the back of the net on that one. But it was just bucks and bodies thrown from everywhere. And Gavin Hain go to the front of the net. You're going to pay a price, but you're going to get rewarded as well. So a good job there picking up that. Period. They had, about, had had a couple great shifts with some end zone possession time and creating a lot of opportunities and scoring chances. about scoring how about Carson Albrecht joining the party the senior from Saskatchewan able to finish up the scramble and it's 4-0 North Dakota good job by Jandrick on the back end again just to find Albrecht in front not sure if this was played by anyone else if Jandrick will get an assist on this but watch the fighting that Albrecht does right in front doesn't give up on it the puck plink goes around it's in his skates and somehow it just trickles in I, I'm not sure where this goal is sure it hit off of a skate and deflect primary assist on both yeah. those last goals just great stuff there by Jandrick to push the pace oh baby Jamernick oh. finding Hain Hogg able to slide see if Gavin gets another opportunity Holy Cross trying to get on the score sheet here Helston coming up with the stop an early season confrontation in college hockey with two national title contenders both game one and game two live here on Midco Sports and that is how the shutout ends. Puck thrown in, deflected in front, Holy Cross on the board, and this one, we believe, is gonna stand. Charlie Spence getting the That's net. not a rotation. This is a sweep here at the Ralph Engelstad Arena tonight. Final score from the REA, North Dakota four, Holy Cross one.